But if you do this job a fourth time, I'm gonna jump off a bridge. I hit you, I hit you, I hit you, I hit you. Bye, have a great time. My wrench is stuck. Please be 13, please be 13, please be 13, please be 13. It's a 14. Haha! -ha. There we go. So I said I'm going to install the gaskets, then I'll be set and ready to go, put everything back on. By the way, this is how I get, like, if you, like, accidentally spill over a ton of putty, just stick in a drill bit. It'll cut it up just enough to get it all out. You can, like, you jump the button. There we go. Mm-hmm. So B, I'll move it for you if you help me real quick. Oh, I didn't know that. Would have been great if you guys like invited me or something, but okay. Make sure everything's in place. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. 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 Alright, now the manifold's on. What Snapchat? What is it? Yep, we are all good in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Sweet. Pretty sure those are three eighths. I think they're three eighths. Pretty sure they're three eighths. Please be three eighths. By the way, we're supposed to work these down in a very specific order. I'm just getting them in there. Yeah, you see, they're not tightened down yet. I'm just getting them in there and get them started. There's all in little places that everyone else doesn't know. You know what? I need tweezers. Women's makeup finally has a use for me. Wait, too far. What the fuck is that? What is that? Huh. Perfect. Hey, Squeaker. There we go. I think that caught. Did that catch? I really hope it did. Yes, that caught. Oh, I love you. Now, little story. I have a torque wrench. Cobalt hated it. Broke my bolt like pretty much immediately because it stopped tight. It stopped doing the click thing, and uh, well, it snapped the bolt off, and that was a pain to get out. Snapped that one right there. Oh man, I I know they're a well-known brand, but I'm probably not gonna buy cobalt again after that for things I'm working on my car with. Oh my gosh, this takes so long. There we go, that cut. By the way, if any of you guys are trying to come do a job like this, do your research beforehand. This stuff takes a lot of work. Like, a lot, a lot. I should really buy a tool belt. That wouldn't look very fashionista to me, though. Stop hitting that thing, it's actually really annoying. <sighs> no matter what, it's gonna be hitting something, so I guess I'm gonna just use my Oh, did it bite? Oh, it bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, you dismounted? How'd you dismount? And my foot is getting burned from the sun. What are you looking at? I always wear the problem child. You remind me of myself. I hate GM for not allowing me to move this dumb air conditioner. <sighs> you didn't hit the bottom, did you? And of course you didn't. That'd be too easy. Where are you, you little idiot? Ha! Idiot. I need to go. Ow, oh, son of a gun! I hate you. I hate you. That burned me really bad. I think I actually have burns. And now I need to go grab my computer so I can have the GM bolt thing. The thing about the, these kind of cars is that 
you can't just tighten them all down. You gotta go in a very specific order. Because if you don't, you mess everything up. Load! Come on. Did you just give up on me? I haven't put in a code yet. Finally, there it is. GoPro and out of battery, so back to the camcorder. Five, six, seven, eight. Man, I sure wish I had friends to record me. That'd be useful right about now. Ah, there we go. Now I gotta put you on. Oh, I hate you. You're a pain in the booty hole. Where'd my wrench go? Ah! Ah! Don't lock. There's nothing to touch here. Ah, oh, it all burns. It all burns. See, since I need to crank the engine, I need to make sure I can keep an eye on which spark plug wire, well, where each one should go. So that's what I'm doing right now. I gotta mark them all off. Alright, so time for a little bit of science. That thing I'm trying to put in the car, it's called a distributor. On the bottom of the distributor, there's a little rectangle thing where I gotta line it up with the bottom of the place underneath the intake manifold. If I don't, I won't be able to match my oil pump and then I'll starve my engine to oil. Then my engine will blow up and overheat and over friction or whatever it is. Either way, it won't be good. When you take it off, you should really make a little bit of marking on the manifold and on the distributor itself so you're able to see exactly where you took it out. I didn't do that. So now I gotta crank the engine in the one position to put it back in. So there you go. Alright, so finally after a lot of swearing and hating myself, I finally got that fan and fan shroud back on. So now all that's left is we gotta put on the rest of the parts. So yeah. Alright, so distributors in place, the alternator covers in place. Now, I need to add all the spark plugs. Luckily, these ones are, I'm gonna keep using these ones because these ones I probably put in just like about a month ago. So like that, I know they're all gapped correctly. So like that, double checked. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's finish the rest of it. I just broke my wrist trying to turn the camera. Thank you.